Hello, I'm... Hey, Igor Bauer, we've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And, yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, the Nye. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the Oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The Oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson, but the Nye was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked the Nye in a bronze room, open only to the sky. However, mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. The Nye gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it. King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and tossed them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid. Poor Perseus. Perseus and his mother, Danae, were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Victis. Lucky them. Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things, too. Yeah, good for you. Except swim or be just. Hush. Now, Victis' brother was ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. The cruel king of Seriphos, Victis' brother, Polydectis, decided he wanted to marry the Nye, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Victis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> Christos, that's your job. I will keep the stinky king from marrying you. The cruel and uh, stinky king became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said, by killing a great monster. I knew it. Shh, I knew it too. Polydectis told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectis knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle and Athena gave him a bronze shield polished mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her.